uh, what career advice would you give someone wanting to sort of build a career in this space, especially as an early researcher? I'm not sure if I want to go into an in an academic uh, position, and as you said, AI researchers or AI engineers. Um, I'm a young student. How do I how do I find whether I am ready for one or the other, and what would I do to equip myself to become one of the other, one of the two? So let me just step back and answer one question, right? So, regardless of what you choose to do in your life, so you have to figure out how to do it with AI, because uh, no AI is not going to take your job away. But somebody who knows how to use AI to do your job is going to take your job away because the efficiency improvement is going to be significant, right? Uh, even if not all, all aspects of your job is uh, replaceable with an AI, but you need to know how to use it effectively. That is like saying, I will not use Microsoft Office Suite, right? I mean, not necessarily Microsoft, but some kind of Office Suite, right? You basically have to use that today, right, to survive, regardless of what your job is. So it's like that. So AI is going to become something that's ubiquitous. You have to learn how to do that, right? So regardless of whether you want to get into AI or not. So I just wanted to make that point. The second thing, um, increasingly, the government is trying to push AI into the school curriculum. So if you are now in CBSE, right, you will learn AI in ninth and 10th, right? And uh, in fact, we are working with some organizations to build uh, AI literacy curriculum for grades six through eight as well. So increasingly, you're going to get a good enough exposure to AI even from the school days, right? And this is going to go to even like government schools, right? So it's not like something that's only limited to some top-end uh, private schools in uh, the cities and so on and so forth. So that way you'll have some idea of what is AI, what it can do. You're going to see the impact of AI around you. And uh, so you'll get a sense of what it is, right? So my strong recommendation would be to start playing around with these AI tools. Right. They are available to everybody. Right, it's become pretty ubiquitous. Right, and then as you keep playing around with these tools, I mean, if you f get fascinated by how you can solve new problems using these tools, right, then then you know that uh, you, you probably want to get into an AI engineering pathway. Right, and there are a lot of uh, resources on the web. Like if you go to uh, Kaggle. Right, Kaggle is a website that hosts a lot of data competitions, and so they actually have a lot of resources in terms of uh, uh, Gen AI tools. Also, in fact, they host APIs which you can use to access uh, Gen AI tools through the Kaggle thing. So, if you are running a Kaggle competition, you have you can access if you are being part of the competition. If you are registered for it, you can access tools using their Kaggle interface. So, you should try playing around with those, right? And then figuring out. Uh, I mean, so, but then you need to know programming for this, right? But now, what I'm finding is kids are learning to write, uh, you know, simple Python code and things like that very early, right? Uh, in fact, there are uh, phone, uh, Android, and iOS app development courses that are being taught to kids in sixth standard, fifth and sixth standard. I mean, uh, so not this is not new. My son went to one of those. And he he started writing all these small games for Android phones and stuff like that because they taught him how to do this development stuff like that. So uh, so things I mean it's not like coding is something new. So people are getting into this, and so I should I, I think you should start playing around with some of these Kaggle competitions or Hugging Face. Hugging Face is a little bit more uh, 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 more abstract because it's 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 essentially the same tool tool chain that. Uh, People are using for developing actual solutions in the in the real world, right? Many companies are now building their products based on hugging hugging face tool chain, but they do offer uh, these kinds of free uh, courses and free uh, tools and programming and stuff like that, right? But again, this might be for students who are already in college and uh, start. They want to decide whether they want to branch out into AI as a specialization or whether they want to stick with uh, computer science and things like that. At the school level, it's a little bit more challenging, and. Uh, yeah, I would, I would, uh, I mean, so we are trying to engage with 11th and 12th kids already, right? So IIT Madras is doing these online courses, which is like a 
two week course on 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 uh, various things right now we have one on ai and data science and ai i think there is a two week course on data science and ai so i it, again it's online so it's not like uh, the the bar for getting into these courses is not very high so you can actually enroll right so i would recommend people test out some of these uh, material that's available right and uh, uh, there are some things available on khan academy as well in terms of introduction to what is ai what it can do for you and again targeted at 11th and 12th grade students uh, so those are some of the resources i would recommend but it's not an easy question to answer whether you should become an ai engineer or ai researcher that question certainly is for each individual to answer